Hello everyone, happy Sunday. So I'm about to head out and show you guys my outfit because we're going downtown for the Browns game and we're having brunch um, over at one of my friend's apartment. So it's a crisp fall day and I have some new pieces on that I thought you guys would like. So I'm wearing this new top, which is a cream top from Anthropology, and then the cute little vest, the fuzzy vest, is also from Anthropology, and it has this adorable little hood on the back. So I thought this was a cute combination. I'm just wearing jeans and then these little booties, which are actually from last year. They're very comfortable. They're Steve Madden, so kind of this neutral look. And then these new earrings are actually from Walmart. Um, very cute little hoops. And then I'm taking my YSL purse, so very monochromatic neutral but we're gonna head down there and i will try and get some clips throughout the day but happy sunday and happy football time hello everyone welcome back to my channel i'm so happy to be here vlogging talking to you guys i'm just having like a very fun creative day at home it is currently tuesday october 18th i want to say um freezing cold rainy started hailing earlier today kind of vibe um but my mom is out to lunch all day with her friends so i am just cozy at home doing work wanted to pull out the vlog camera because i know that the last video that i posted was a little shorter and i feel like there is so much for us to catch up both in life and fashion and all other things that i figured we would just spend the day together so I my big job for today is that I wanted to film my fall capsule wardrobe because I've talked about it on my podcast um, so we're actually doing it I'm having a little bit of trouble trying to figure out like logistically how I'm gonna do this because I want to do it for TikTok and reels and then also just do some like fall fashion in general and really share the outfits that I've been loving with my amazing basics because I feel like I've really had the time this season to curate pieces that are both high-end um, and also like not high-end like target pieces basically I've been wearing a lot of the same pieces over and over again but like in a really good way and I want to share with you guys a little caffeinated I just made a little at-home iced coffee with oat milk and a hint of the um, this like pumpkin spice creamer delicious I just put a little bit the straws are from Amazon but my camera I'm like kind of disheveled right now because I'm in between like changing and filming okay well I put my makeup on and then my hair is just kind of like randomly back because it's curly and natural um, because, so, because so many different things. I have a workout tomorrow, so I didn't want to like waste styling my hair. But then this morning I woke up and I was like, oh, we're going to film the big fall capsule wardrobe. So then I didn't do my hair. Also, my camera was like not working. The shutter speed was moving really slowly. So then I had to turn all the lighting down. So hopefully this is bright enough, but I did pull back out my ring light which I haven't used since college because it was like tucked away with all my college stuff um, but I'm filming on the third floor because I wanted to use a clothing rack so I pulled it back out so now I have all this natural light so if my makeup looks like crazy on this I'm so sorry it, I swear it doesn't look like this in person it's just because my camera lighting is messed up and then mixed with the ring light so apologize for that um but let me show you what i have so far okay so this is what we're working with um we just i pulled out this rack and then there's like usually furniture here which is all behind me right now so i kind of just like set this up and here are all of the pieces okay so i'm wearing this well i don't know if it's cute but it's what we're wearing i have on this set from the brand unsubscribed it is matching like little flare capri pants with this zip up and i got it in the hamptons from the brand unsubscribed really cute i usually just wear a white top underneath it and um this is what i wear like at home if i'm just working on computer stuff or editing or just having a cozy day at home so this is the rack of clothing for my fall capsule wardrobe and i thought this is just tops, so I'm going to go through all the tops with you guys um, and share the pieces. It's not an overwhelming amount, and like I said, there's some higher price points and some lower price points, so I thought that there was something for every one. And I also didn't want to just like, okay, it's a little later in the fall. This is like fall, winter, but I genuinely have been wearing these items, which is why I wanted to do it now, because I can um say with confidence that i wear these pieces a lot and that they're good quality okay so the first two fall basics that you're going to want is just a black turtleneck classic and then a little bit more of a casual 
black sweater of some sort so like not a turtleneck this one for example is from j crew and it has um, a collar with some buttons and it's super soft so I would definitely recommend a turtleneck because you can wear this under things layering or by itself and then just like another version of a black sweater if that makes sense. My next piece that I picked for the fall capsule wardrobe is this cream oatmeal pullover which is from Target. It's in this lovely cable knit design. To me this looks like it's from J. Crew, and it is from Target. So the quality is amazing. It's soft. Um, it's thick enough where you feel warm, but you're not suffocating. We also have this just warm brown, also cable knit cardigan, and I love the flap in the back. This is also from Target, which is phenomenal because this looks like it could be from Club Monaco or J. Crew as well. And it's also super versatile. Even if you go into an office, I thought that this piece would be great. Okay, next we have a little J. Crew cardigan. This is, in fact, cashmere, a great basic. I mostly have been wearing this with basic tops or I've been throwing it over my shoulder and using it as a layering piece. So this has gotten a lot of use, especially when I was traveling. I would take this on the plane with me because it was so soft. Next favorite is this basic sweater from J. Crew, and this is from this season. I got it in an extra small and it's still kind of an oversized fit, um, but it is just a cream cashmere sweater. It says it's cashmere, but it's like it's simply not. It's just this cream sweater from J. Crew with a ribbed material. Super high quality, obviously, because it's J. Crew, um, and you can do a lot with it. In Boston, I layered an Oxford underneath it. I also just wore it um, with pixie pants to the airport. So lots of different things that you could do. Also great for work. Okay, we have two Zara pieces. Hopefully something is still available. The classic navy and white striped sweater. I have worn this a bunch and this looks great with a skinnier pant, even a legging. And then this adorable navy and white striped cardigan. I think this is like the fall coastal grandmother sweater that we all love and need. The Zara pieces are another two items that are a little bit more reasonably priced. They're gonna be a little bit more pricier, obviously, than the Target, but a nice in-between from the J. Crew. And honestly, the quality, like, J. Crew's quality is amazing, but so is Target and so is Zara. It's like, I'm not gonna be like, oh my gosh, this is so much better. I like J. Crew because they're classic and I always like what they put out, but there are other options. I don't want people to think like, oh, in order to, there are other options. Okay, next we have this adorable sweater with just a bit more character. I know that this is the capsule wardrobe, but to me this is still a basic. Um, I like how this is a little bit more of a gray tone, at least in person it is, and this is piped in navy. This is a theory cardigan. I feel like, again, there's a lot that we could do with this, a whole lot that we could do with this. Okay, the next fall capsule wardrobe favorite, which this was actually purchased last year. It is still available. This is a higher-end piece. It's from Veronica Beard, um, and it's a sleeveless peplum turtleneck sweater this is going to be great for a nice dinner if you're going out to drinks with girlfriends if you're going on a date it's so flattering and way more versatile than you think because you can easily put a jacket over this you could put a long sleeve like thin top underneath to layer or you could just wear it sleeveless i also think that that look like obviously if you're going inside a restaurant you can wear this like don't just like go outside and wear this but um if you are ever like what am i gonna wear out I always grab this. Always grab this, and it's so flattering. Okay, we have two more J. Crew pieces. The first one I showed, um, I think, in my vlog to New York, but it's just this cropped Oxford with these adorable cuffs and a matching collar. It's in a nice navy and white striped. It's very flattering. And I actually layered these two pieces, so I wore them together. I put this over my shoulders, and then if I got cold, I just... Um, popped it over and it was a great combo but again you can wear this just like with a little scarf or by itself this is actually my new favorite top ever it's a lovely white button down which obviously like a white button down in general is goes without saying to go in anyone's capsule wardrobe this is just my fall version and i love this like peter pan collar i think it's adorable um especially layered under a sweater peeping out it just adds so much to an outfit next up i've been obsessed with these little like tweed jackets we actually have a ton from last year i'm gonna make sure that i find updated versions in fact i had another one right here but i was only including one for the tiktok both of these are from mango um as i recall they had tons of options and these were actually both last year, and for some reason we just, like, am I out of the frame? For some reason we just did, did not wear them as much last year, and then when I was kind of, like, switching out my wardrobe, I found all these jackets. By all these jackets, I mean three. I have one from Zara and then two from Mango, and again, since three girls were all sharing pieces, so, like, Elizabeth doesn't need tweed jackets at college, um, but I've just been wearing them 
a lot because if you need to go to dinner, black turtleneck, black pants, little tweed jacket, we're out the door. So they really are a lot more of a basic than you think. And then they can be dressed down quite easily with a pair of jeans. So this one's the one that I'm including in the capsule wardrobe because it's a bit more fall. Okay, um, my card was full and also batteries are dying. So I'm just gonna finish going through the rack. So tweed jackets are favorite. And then for jackets, I just picked two. We have pretty much the same version. I mean, they serve different purposes, but one is a little bit more expensive than, they're both, they're both high quality. So I can find a better option with a little bit more research and time, but these are the pieces that I actually own and use. The first one is my uh, Burberry coat. I got this for Christmas, so this could be a great ask for a Christmas present. Interior is the classic Burberry pattern. Exterior is just a nice quilted black. I will say this is very flattering. This is a coat that actually makes you look good. Like it's, it fits you, um, it gives you shape. So that is what I like about this. Um, and it's not super heavy, so you could just wear a sweater and it's like great for that in between. It's a great work jacket and it's a little dressier. So these are for my events where I need to look a little bit more put together and professional. Um, whereas my barber coat, I like to think of as a little bit more outdoorsy and recreational perhaps maybe a little bit more sporty and I have this in the navy so I have a nice black jacket that's quilted and then a little bit more casual um barber coat I've had this barber coat for years like I want to say since high school these are they hold up incredibly and the barber coat is thicker than the Burberry coat and then the collar is also this super nice like um ribbed material the back of the collar looks like this I love the little checked it's it's the cutest coat I feel like my appearance is just like out of control right now but if you're thinking about either one of these jackets um consider what you need do you want an everyday coat that's going to be a little bit sportier recreational um like honestly youthful or are we profesh? Are we going into the office? Both are classic pieces. I like that I have a black and I like that I have a navy. Again, I got this in high school and then this jacket was a Christmas present from last year. So it's not like I got them right away. Like they were spaced out. They have separate needs and I wear them all the time. Um, we still have to talk about pants and shoes. I'm not really gonna do handbags. I mean, I could. I think a classic brown leather tote is so key for the fall and a little like brown shoulder bag for going out that could be less expensive would be my two suggestions. I'm gonna finish this coffee charge, you guys, and then I'll be back in a little bit to keep chatting. Okay, guys. So I have literally set up a little studio. I wish that you guys were a bit higher, but I have been at this setup for quite some time. Um, so I was filming for Reels and TikTok, the capsule wardrobe, but we haven't talked about shoes and we haven't talked about pants. I was just filming in this outfit. So this is like the basic black sweater that I showed earlier, this curly hair. My God, this is why I do not wear my hair curly because it's just so, Crazy. Before we get started, I did put a lip color on for filming, and this is basically the only lip color that I wear if it's not just my natural lip, and I always get questions about this. I do two things. Um, I first put on the Bare Minerals lipstick in this shade Presence, and it looks like this, if we can see. So pretty. For me, since I am pretty pale with dark hair, I like a dark lip. I think that lighter tones don't always look the best on me. So if I'm going to wear a lipstick, it's going to be dark. And then to give it more of like a glossy look, which I feel like you can kind of see right now, I just put on my Mario. So it's moisturizing. It gives it the effect that you have a little bit of gloss on top. Um, but then as this wears off throughout the night, actually as this wears off throughout the night, you still have this nice color and it's very long lasting. This came in a pack of four, I think, but I, I do know you can buy this on its own. I always get questions. I will leave both of these things down in the description box. I probably have like a hundred of these and I go through so many per month. It's just what I use to moisturize my lips on a daily basis. So I wanted to um, address that before we get into anything else. But yeah, this is just that basic sweater. And then I'm wearing corduroys with it. White corduroys. This is in my fall capsule wardrobe. You guys know that I love white pants. They are amazing. Um, but I feel like the white corduroy is the fall version of it. It's a little thicker. Okay, so batteries have been charged and we're back. So I'm going to start off with talking a little bit about um, pants that I think are perfect for the fall. Obviously, I think it's important to have whatever type of jean that you prefer, light wash, dark wash, straight leg, um, 
flare or whatever. I love a nice straight jean and then I also have one with like that straight with a little bit of flare at the end. Um, so that's obviously a given, but I wanted to show you my most recent purchase and my favorite pair of jeans right now. So it would have to be my flare jeans from Levi's. We got these at the Levi's store in New York City. They're a little bit of a darker wash and I've been wearing them all the time. Recently I've been like loving Western chic for fall. And so these pants in particular are very easy to pair with other outfits and they're super flattering. So this is the first item that I would recommend for the capsule wardrobe. The next pair of pants that you have to have for a capsule wardrobe are these incredible J. Crew pixie pants. What I love about these is that it has an exposed zipper and so you could actually Actually wear these to work they're a little bit more pricey but it's definitely an investment and they're so comfortable and for me since I have like longer legs they're more flattering you can wear them with a loafer I've worn them with little kitten heels um, you could wear it with a boot I wore these traveling I wear these on a day-to-day -day basis um, they've been in some past vlogs if you want to see them on but love 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 the J. Crew pixie pants cannot recommend them more and then if you want a nice dress pant, I have been obsessed with these Theory work pants. They also have like an elastic band around the waist, which makes them so comfortable. And they have a really subtle pinstriped pattern on them. And they also kind of flare. So for me, since I do have a longer leg, I like a little bit of substance to the pants so I like a little bit of a flare but I wore these out to dinner with my family and I actually had a lot of compliments on them and I was so incredibly comfortable those three pants including my corduroys that I have on right now would be my favorites for my capsule wardrobe but again any type of jean I love jeans from um, J. Crew. I also have a lot from frame and then Levi jeans are my favorite okay hi guys so it's been a little later in the day since I last talked to you from our capsule wardrobe, but I'm back in my room. I had a lovely evening with Terry and Anne. Oh, my door just opened back up. I tried to close it. It didn't just like appear. Um, but we have been doing a lot this evening. I'm actually going to back to Chicago this weekend because I am visiting some college friends. It's one of my friend's birthday who lives in Chicago. So a bunch of us are meeting to celebrate her birthday. So it's going to be fun to see my Miami friends. Um, so originally I was going to drive. Plans changed. Still don't have my car. Decided I'm just going to fly. So I booked those flights tonight. There was something else I was going to talk about. Oh, I wanted to give an update on the whole moving out situation because I know a few vlogs ago I mentioned that. Also, I'm obsessed with my big Stanley cup that I got in one of my gift bags at Fashion Week. It is truly amazing, totally worth it. Also a great Christmas gift for people. And I like my color because it's just very neutral. But anyway, a few vlogs ago, I talked about how I was um, gonna be moving out like end of October, beginning of November, and I had a roommate. Basically, long story short, that's not happening anymore. My roommate basically decided to go a different direction. So I, as of right now, have no plan to move out. But this weekend was so much fun um, going out in Cleveland. On Saturday, I went to a Miami alumni event um, with another girl who I knew from Miami who just moved to Cleveland. Um, so we went together and then we met some other people. And then on Sunday, she had some friends in town. So then she invited me to like tailgate for the Browns football game. So we were out all day in Cleveland and it was so much fun um, and just made some like really fun connections with other Miami people who are back in Cleveland. That was the outfit that I showed in the beginning of this video on Sunday where I had like the little um, vest. That's what I wore all day on Sunday. And it was honestly like one of, it was beautiful weather. So we all weekend and it was just so festive and fun. Okay, my camera seriously cannot stop dying and running out of storage and then the shutter speed is lagging whenever I try to turn up the exposure because the like SD card doesn't have enough so I don't really know what to do anymore but um I think I have a charged battery so I need to get things in order for Chicago we were texting about what we are like gonna wear um so I will put together some outfits with you guys and I also have my trainer tomorrow um, which I'm looking forward to because I haven't gone since last week. I had to cancel on Monday. Um, and what else? Oh, Housewives is on it tomorrow. And I don't think I have anything else planned for my Wednesday. Um, but I have a very exciting meeting Friday morning before I leave for Chicago. For like an upcoming brand partnership that's not happening until like the spring. So very very early stages but um i also wanted to give you guys an update on my merchandise i am doing a new collection for 
the fall. I don't know if I've mentioned that for sure on the podcast, but I don't know if I've said anything over here on YouTube. I always want to make sure I'm still like communicating on both platforms. Um, but we are doing a fall line of merchandise, which I'm so excited about. And all the products except for one piece has come in so we have them in our possession i am so excited it's so cute i know well hopefully i'm so excited for you guys to see and hopefully you're gonna like it as much as i do um and so we're just waiting on the last bit of inventory and then uh i'll do a photo shoot and make sure that you know all the products are good to go and get that up on my website and obviously we'll do like a little countdown over on instagram but i did just want to bring that to your attention that it is still happening um Things have been in the works and just with supply chain, items have been taking a little longer as I'm sure you guys know with just everything and ordering and um, so we just had to be patient with that but it ended up being pretty good timing just with like the wedding and everything being so busy. Um, it actually worked out well. So and it's pretty like when you see it, you'll be like, oh, I can use this at any point. Like it's not just, um, it's not just fall related. It's like you can use this all year round, uh, which is good, but it definitely matches well with the autumnal season. So I think those were all the little updates that I wanted to share with you guys tonight. My clip just fell. I think I'm gonna go hop in the shower and get ready for bed and keep editing the stuff that I filmed today and maybe even this video a little bit to get ahead on things. Or I might start putting outfits together. I haven't decided. Maybe both, honestly. And then I will pick up the camera again tomorrow and keep talking to you guys. But such a fun day with you all. I hope you enjoyed. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Hi friends, happy Thursday. I wanted to pick back up the vlog camera and continue this vlog because I have a very exciting package that I wanted to open with you guys. Um, I'm having such a chill, actually not really, it's like a busy chill day. Um, I'm in like full on workout clothes. I'm wearing my little flare leggings from Lululemon, my on clouds, and then this adorable zip up which is actually from Amazon. It's like so cute for fall and I love this shade of brown. I did just go and get my nails done. If you can see, I got this like really pretty chocolate brown. If you can tell, super fun for the fall. I honestly was not a huge fan of the navy nails, so I'm happy that I have my gel back on because I am going to be traveling like the next week or so, and I just wanted to make sure that my nails were going to hold. So I wanted to open up this package from Stony Clover. They have sent me a PR package before, um, but we got another one, which is so exciting. Um, I'm just home by myself. My grandma actually just called. She's dropping something off, and I ordered a coffee to the house. So we're having quite the day, but let me open the package, and I will show you guys what's inside of it. Okay, so this is the box that it came in, and I love how it has the stickers on the outside. It says, like, the London Eye, Tower Bridge, so cute and then it also has let me show you it also has this really cute tape which I thought was adorable that says stony clover so I'm gonna open this and we can see what's inside I'm so excited about this I can't believe that I'm getting PR from stony clover Oh, whoa. stop it right now. Okay, so first it has greetings from London as Stony Clover Lane, and it's this little postcard. Um, and it says, we're bringing posh and proper vibes to fall fashion with our latest limited edition collection, Destination London. These luxe silhouettes and patterns inspired by trips across the pond, but will look just as cute in any city. Destination London lands in stores and online October 14th at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Cheers, Kendall and Libby. How cute is that? You guys. Oh my God. Is there stuff inside? I'm gonna throw up, there's stuff inside! It's this like green velour, and it has EOC and pearl, which first of all, I love when they just like pick the personalization for you, you don't even have to. And look, they put a little tag on here. How cute is that? Oh my God. This is full of stuff, hold on. Oh, look at this green velour. I'm calling it velour, um, it's a little, purse i think i'm gonna take it this weekend i'm sorry i'm freaking out <laughs> okay and then there's all these stickers okay, all of these adorable little stickers okay so inside of this bag this first bag there's a little um like 
card holder, I want to say. Okay, so cute. This like goes on a little bag. I actually love these. I have one of them that I keep in my purse right now that I actually bought, but they are these little pouches from Stony Clover and they're the perfect size for your purse because you can keep like lip gloss, moisturizer, a little hairbrush. So this was the second thing in here. So that was everything that came in this velour bag as you can tell which is so darling and then this whole bag is filled with stuff so let's see what's inside oh my gosh oh my gosh a full-on cosmetic bag that says emily this is beyond and it's the same pearl so it's matching everywhere i am obsessed with this pattern i'm literally going to take it this weekend to chicago because I have to like consolidate my makeup and my um, toiletries. So this is the perfect thing for it and there's stuff inside of this. So let me open it. Okay, so inside of this big cosmetic bag was a smaller one and they matched, they kept the theme up and I love the pearl heart patch. I think that is so cute. This size is also perfect. If I can't fit this in my carry-on, I'm gonna take this size, which actually might even work out better. And then inside of here, there are these huge clip berets barrettes berets um and it comes in the green pattern which is the same as this the cohesiveness is amazing this hound's tooth um like a little tweed pattern and i'm just obsessed i literally can't even handle it i might try and take these this weekend as well and wear them but this is beyond you guys like i did not they dm me and my package this summer was also insane i also think i got the limited edition last time so i love that they send things that are like brand new for the fall time <laughs> Okay, hello everyone. I wanted to pop in at the end of this video. It is currently like the present day, um, the day that I'm uploading this. So I did wanna just pop in at the end of this video and let you guys know that currently my main Instagram account, Emily on Bows, has been deactivated. On October 31st, Monday, Instagram had this like global outage and a lot of accounts got deactivated, most of which have come back, but mine is still not recovered. So we have been contacting some people and getting some more answers so i'm hoping within the next few days but in the meantime i will be posting all of my content on bows and company which is the podcast instagram but i did just want to give youtube the update so if you're wondering where my instagram went it was a it was face it was meta's fault they got rid of like all of these accounts for no reason um and people like lost thousands of followers there's a bunch of articles about it but anyway i'm going to continue posting on my podcast bows and company as well as my youtube channel and be sure to follow me on tiktok because i'm going to be putting a lot more content over there so I hope you guys are having a great start to your November and that you enjoyed this video and thank you always for tuning into my vlogs and I will see you in my next video bye everyone